Hey guys, I'm LB. Welcome back to Quantum Conundrum. We're here where we left off last episode. And we're gonna continue with the game. Whoa, got disoriented. That red battery will provide enough energy to enable the IPS device to widen the heavy dimension rifts in this area. Oh, I missed again. I am not good at throwing these things, apparently. There we go. So now it's Q, right? It appears this dolly got stuck on an infinite loop. How unfortunate. I cut that off early. Oh, there's, uh, what's his name? I already, I've already forgot his name. Dang it, I already forgot his name. <laughs> well, it's probably because I'm hungry. I had a quick snack between episodes, but yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. Gosh, what was his name? Also, these lasers are dangerous. Seems to be a large expanse of piles and pits filled with various random objects. No, not where you are. Here, in this confounded place. Are those hard candies? They're a little fuzzy. Ugh. Pleasant. He actually put stuff in his mouth that he's been finding laying around. Maybe he just means pleasant, like uh, the way we we're. Maybe he meant to be sarcastic, because I'm trying to think. Okay, here we go. I think this is the level that I could never get past on my old computer because of the physics bugging out on the low frame rate. So let's see if we can do it this time. <laughs> nice job! No, not really. With the increased density and higher melting points of items in heavy dimension, quadrangle laser beams are rendered rather ineffectual. Oh, okay. I didn't realize they didn't have fluffy dimension. I, I thought I could switch between them easily or something. Uh, what do I want to do here? They don't have fluffy, so there's nothing I can pick up, and there's no light objects, either, that I can turn heavy. Uh, just push the button. Okay, here we go. This is what the physics would always mess up on. Oh my goodness. It looks like it actually works this time. Okay, so what this is, it's another timing puzzle. This game just loves timing puzzles. What you have to do is you have to toggle heavy dimension as the laser is shooting to prevent it from shooting certain crates. Here we go. Oops, that was wrong. I have to start over. Like most things in life, timing is key. Yeah, yeah, I hate tiny bubbles. Okay, now I can just go down there. Probably gonna find a, a fluffy uh, thingy up here. Oh, yep, Ike's got it. Oh, that's his name! I remembered his name is Ike! Hey, Ike. I came across Ike some time ago, and he decided to follow me back to the manor. It's, that's all you're gonna say, huh? I believe Ike stole these and hid them at one point. He's rather fond of shiny objects. That works too. Okay, now where do I wanna go? Alright. That works, I guess. Not half bad. Ha! 
<laughs> the timing couldn't have been better on that. That was like fireworks. Wow. <laughs> This was once the family cat, Lord Widget Pompadour Fluffington IV, or Widget I. He somehow wound up in one of the Dolly cloning control units. I specifically constructed his monocle to fit him. Who knew it would be so impossible to find a cat-sized monocle? Preposterous! Sadly, Widget I has since passed on, but his memory is alive, somewhat. Not sure if that's referencing anything. So I want to clarify that Dolly is great for cloning inanimate objects, but she's not entirely capable with organic ones. This is Widget's first generation clone. We named this one Colonel Fluffy McScratchers or Widget the Second. Widget the Second is still mostly together and functional as a cat, but just a little wall-eyed. I just had to pass Widget the Second through Dolly again. I just couldn't resist. Definitely learned my lesson with this one. Technically, his name is Widget the Third, though he often responds to derp. I often find him walking <laughs> around in circles while staring at his feet. Very friendly, but possesses the intelligence of a sack of rocks. Interesting. Oh yeah, these guys Note are safe. that if you disrupt the blue beam, it should deactivate something. Wait, okay, so if I'm facing this way, jumping doesn't do anything. But if I'm facing this way, it jumps me to jump on top of this. The game actually aim assists your jumping. That's crazy. Okay, I didn't know that. That's, uh, interesting. Okay, what do I want to put on top of this thing? Uh, oh, that opens the door. Nice. It's so weird, the animation it does. Okay, I guess that only controls the door, right? No reason to ever block that laser again, right? with us too. I mean the safe. Okay. I'm not entirely sure how many BEDs of radiation that emits. Hope you're not looking to have children later. Yeah, that's good for that. And then oh this fan's gonna blow the box away so is there a heavy dimension anywhere here, Ike? Ike, can you help me out? Did I miss something? A paper clip? Why is there a paper clip? That's weird. <coughs> oh, there's just random debris flying. I see. That's 
not what I wanted to do. I keep hitting E to let go, and that's not how this game works. Trapping myself is probably not a good idea. Do I need to scare Ike or something by breaking the glass? That is a thing. Did I not need the safe? What's going on here? Uh, come on, where's the safe? Did I seriously break the game? I- what did I do wrong? What did I do to deserve this? Might as well just die and restart the level. Learning to follow safety instructions. <laughs> Where is the checkpoint going? Okay, so the safe is back. That's good. But... I'm not I... entirely sure how many BEDs of radiation that emits. Hope you're not looking to have children later. Wait a minute. Why is that door closed? Yeah, it's like I'm supposed to have heavy or something, but I don't. I do not. I do not have heavy. I don't know where I would get it. Am I just blind? Is it like obvious? What does this button do? Oh my goodness, I did not press the button. You guys. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness. It's a little bit of work. Jeez, okay. Well, I'm. I'm sorry for all of you who are face bombing saying push the button. But you know, it's a big red button. My mind automatically ignores big red buttons for safety reasons, you know. Here we go. This is what we're supposed to do. So, don't tell Mike. But that painting really unnerves me. He looks like an evil wombat. I keep wanting to take it down, but he won't let me. Okay, let's get out of here. This place is truly fascinating. That, combined with the fact that I have no clue how I was transported here, is certainly puzzling. It's mostly dark. Well, maybe not dark. Sort of twilight. Come on, little screen. I've learned my lesson, guys. I know how to push buttons now. I'm fairly certain Desmond there will come in rather handy. Aha, uh -huh. really here Playing a lot of Portal 2 community chambers has really made it very easy for me to solve puzzles. But, we'll see how hard this game's puzzles get. These are actually challenging and not just timing puzzles. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so we've got Fluffy. Build another staircase. Might as well just throw these all in, right? Light bulb! Ugh. Oh, that light bulb.
light bulb just faded out of existence. Interesting. Here we go. that wrong stating that the book was better than the film <laughs> I like those death messages they're cute oh okay oh okay that's what check is I see oh 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 over there. This is really dangerous. <laughs> Whew! We made it through there. This section is scary. Okay, what do we got here? Oops, well, so much for that chair. I find the number three to be a very satisfying number. It's a heatner number, and the proper amount of scoops on an ice cream cone. Here we go. Just gotta make a stack, I guess. What's so hard about that? Well, I could have done it better myself. Not bad, though. Oh, did I press a button? I did press a button. Gosh dang it. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh well. Haha, <laughs> I love doing that. Whoa, that was weird. You may remember some of my past inventions from previous trips. This is my ice gun, Freezy Ray Vaughn. Okay guys, thanks for watching this episode. I will see you tomorrow where we will figure out where that cow sound came from. Goodbye!